Well, there are a lot of new products being introduced continually now in the horticulture industry, especially for the consumer. And you'll remember last year I showed you the Poupet, which is recycled manure that's kind of prefabricated. And again, that's called Poupet. Well, this year we have introductions of Zoodoo, which is the Dew Darling, and it has a clay base on it to keep it from weathering quite so quickly. And then we also have crappy critters. So again, some interesting and unique products recycling in the garden. Also, I showed you last year a new one that if, if you have any squeamish people in your household that doesn't like to touch insects, you can actually like trap a spider or whatever on the wall, close this one too, and then you can take it outside and release it. Well, recently I had a birthday and some of our OBGA volunteer ambassadors got me a birthday present, which is called a super swat fly swatter. It's really got several built-in things here. After you swat the fly and kill it, it has your own little scooper there that you can put it in, as well as at the end, if you don't want to pick it up, it has tweezers that you can uh, grab the pest with. So who would have ever thought a fly swatter could become so innovative? Also, there's new pesticides being released all the time. And let me start with this one, which is a herbicide called Finale. And it's supposed to give Roundup, or glyphosate active ingredient, a run for its money with a little bit quicker uh, response. And remember, these would be non-selective, so they kill anything you spray them on, but another new one being introduced into the market. Also, we have some new pesticides that are insect repellents. This one is a garlic barrier, and we've heard of garlic mixes for home remedies for many years, but now it's actually being manufactured as an insect repellent, as well as the hot pepper wax, which is the capsaicin of the hot peppers, which makes them hot, and also now as an insect repellent. Even fertilizers are becoming a little bit more innovative. This is called NutriPack, and what you do is you actually put the package and the fertilizer in the pot or the planting hole all together. You don't pour it out. And Global Relief has recognized it because it's of its packaging, and what it does, it basically dissolves the packaging to make it a slow-release type product. And used, again, in containers, planting holes, and even in water garden plants as well. This one is, is pretty interesting too. And you know, recently we've made some raised beds. Well, this one is to help you out on making the framing a little bit easier. And what you can do is you can change the angle by sliding these out around the spike there. And then you just slide your lumber right into that area. And that would be the corners of your raised beds. And that way, if you needed to move them or anything, it would work nicely too. Well, we're always looking for interesting gifts for family and friends who are gardeners, maybe for their birthday or anniversary. Well, this is a nice one that has seed, soil, and container all in one, and they're called parlor posies. They come in different sizes. But basically, after you receive it, you cut holes in the bottom, open up the top. There's even a card attached to it. You water it, and the plant grows right out. So this is container and all. And we've also showed you over the past some of the new mats that have protective barriers on it to keep from eroding, those types of things, but they include soil or, or seed in it as well. And here's one called the bio mats, and you can see there's grass, flower, and ground covers, and it's just a mat that has seed in it as well. But there's also other ones that have like some lining in it to help for erosion that you place over the seed. So all kinds of new ones in that area as well as some of the old things being reintroduced. We have the Push Lawnmower again from American Lawn Mower Company. It's a real type mower and the old trombone sprayer where basically you can spray fruit trees with these with a pump action in your containers. So a lot of new things out in the market. And remember, most of these are at your garden centers. And if they're not, just be sure and ask for them because they're readily available from manufacturers to the retail garden center.